Take it easy. Well, first off, giant beavers. You may be raising your eyebrows right now and say, Well, that's not scary. But hold up, let me explain. Beavers used to be way bigger. These wood chipping, cool looking bad boys were like three times the size they're now. And they were named Castroides. With the size as big as a black bear, these huge beavers lived in North America and they weighed around 200 pounds. They were herbivore and were alive till like 10,000 years ago. Aside from their enormous size, they had another striking difference with the modern beavers. They didn't build dams. Because they were big, they could just slap any predators that wanted to harm them and do whatever they wanted to do. So yeah, back then, they were the real OGs. Take it easy! Next, we have Bill Zabufo, better known as the Devil Frog. Imagine a frog the size of Garfield, but instead of lasagna, this guy eats big bugs and small dinosaurs. Yeah, you heard it right, small dinosaurs. How did it pull that off though, you ask? Well, it had a jaw so powerful that researchers measured its bite force at over 2200 newtons, the same as a wolf, and they didn't even mew. And after millions of years of surviving, they appeared in Naruto Shippuden and then went extinct, making them the most chat amphibians to ever exist. Well, not that scary yet, but we're getting there. Take it easy! Meganeura, the giant relatives of today's dragonflies, had a wingspan of 28 inches and they lived in Europe and North America. Basically, they were the size of modern day hawks. They lived 300 million years ago, during a time when oxygen levels on Earth were through the roof. And bugs got terrifyingly large. I sometimes wonder what would happen if they were still around. Hey look, dragonflies. These prehistoric beasts were carnivores, which ate small insects and even amphibians. Today's dragonflies though, despite their harsh sounding names, they're surprisingly chill. They rarely bite humans and prefer to spend their time eating mosquitoes, which is honestly a public service. But here's the thought, 28 inch Meganeura versus the devil frog builds a bufo. Who's winning? Personally, I'm betting on the frog. Take it easy! Imagine a regular armadillo. Now, imagine that armadillo took the super soldier serum from Captain America. That's a Glyptodon. If modern armadillos are like base level Pokemons, Glyptodons were their fully evolved form. These massive relatives of today's armadillos lived in South and Central America and they were absolutely huge, growing up to 10 feet long, 3 meters for the rest of the world, and weighing around 2 tons. To put that in perspective, they were about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. You might even remember them from the great DreamWorks animation Ice Age 1. Yeah, that one dumb animal that left a pile of crap for Sid to step in. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. But you gotta know, these guys were like tanks. Apex predators like saber-toothed cats couldn't even pierce their ridiculously thick shells. Take it easy! Now let's talk about a birdie, a distant cousin to those cute little doves you see outside. Except this one is Titanus, an 8 feet tall, 300 pound bird, aka terror bird. And unlike doves, they ate meat. And they, they loved meat. To get a good mental picture of them, imagine an 8 feet roadrunner. But instead of running away from you, it's sprinting towards you at 30 miles per hour to crack your skull open with their giant beaks. These bad boys lived in America. Not exactly the land of opportunities back then, right? They were so badass that even the dinosaurs extinction couldn't stop them. They thrived for millions of years and finally became extinct 1.8 million years ago because of climate changes and early humans. <laughs> well, pretty scary. I don't want to go anywhere near this bird. But it's nothing compared to the next one in the list. Take it easy! The sloths, lazy, lonely, and chill. They sort of remind you of yourself, but their ancestors made the Megatherium, a giant ground sloth that was 15 feet tall and weighed over 4 tons, basically the size of an elephant. Also, they could stand up straight, as if they weren't intimidating enough already. But the good news is, they were herbivore. But that doesn't mean they couldn't casually maul you to death by slowly sitting on you or tearing you apart with their huge claws. The last two are the creepiest ones in my opinion, because they're insects. So if you want a nightmare, buckle up. Take it easy! In my opinion, scorpions are terrifying. They're poisonous and creepy, but not as creepy as their prehistoric cousins. Meet Jacopterus, the giant sea scorpions that grew over 8 feet long. 
They lived during the Devonian period and they weren't just big. They were predators with a hard exoskeleton and claws big enough to crush your skull. Considered one of the first apex predators, the Ecloptrus absolutely ruled the seas. And the crazy part is that they live in shallow waters and coastal areas. So if you by any chance travel back to 380 million years ago, don't go to the beach. Take it easy. Alright, I saved the best for last. Millipedes. I know what you're thinking. They're not scary. I can crush them with my foot. You're absolutely right. You've seen these creepy little things crawling under a rock. They're small, harmless, and just have way too many legs. Modern millipedes are less than an inch long and grow up to 5 inches at most. Now, let me introduce you to Arthropleura, millipedes ancient ancestor. They could grow over 8 feet long and they lived 300 million years ago. Again, when oxygen levels were like crazy high. Scientists think Arthropleuras were mostly plant eaters, eating leaves and rotting greens. So that's good news, but I don't want these things anywhere near me. They just remind me of that creepy bug thingy in Witcher TV show. And lastly, with their hard armor and massive size, they didn't need to worry about any predators. Whenever I'm frustrated and I hate my life, I just take a deep breath and thank God we don't have to coexist with this monster. But then, I think to myself, this monster would have been probably happy to not coexist with us.